there. Hi, everybody. My name is Chelsea Bart. I'm from Victoria, BC. I've been a nail technician for 19 years, and I have been with OPI for nine years. I want to welcome you all to one of many of OPI's 40th anniversary celebration live events where we're showcasing 40 different iconic shades. And today's shade is Mod About You, one of my favorite shades. My favorite color is pink, that's no surprise, <laughs> but I absolutely love um, this, this beautiful mod pink. So before we get started, some fun facts about this shade. It came out in the 2006 Brights collection. It was meant to be like an 80s mod revival. And I didn't quite know what that meant when I read about that. So um, I did a little bit of research. And so mod um, was a 1950s to 1960s youth subculture. It originated in London, England, and it focused on music and fashion and got its name because they were called modernists because of the modern jazz that they listened to. By 1965, mods gravitated towards pop art and psychedelia, and is, that was referred to as the swinging London era. It had another revival in the early 80s in California, Vancouver, and Toronto. And that is where they got the inspiration for this, was that, that early 80s mod revival for this pink. So without further ado, we're going to start with this guy right here. And this guy, you can tell I kind of modeled it off of a bit of a lava lamp, if you will. And it's a little bit of a French twist because we've got the white on the bottom and the mod about you up at the top. So let me show you guys how I did that. Firstly, of course, we're going to be using a tip, so I don't have to do any preparation for this today. However, if you're working on a client, you're going to want to make sure to follow the proper prep step-by-steps um, for OPI's gel color. Those can be found on the OPI app, available on Android and Apple, and it, they can also be found on the o OPI YouTube page. So I'm going to start with my Cl Stay Classic base coat. Hello, Portugal. K-Star says she loves Mad About You. Yes, I do too. Keep those comments coming, guys. Tell me where you're from as I do this. I'm just applying one coat of base. Nice, thin, even coat. Remember to cap your free edge. We're going to cure that for 30 seconds. From here, I'm going to take my Mad About You and my Alpine Snow, another great iconic shade. Rachel says Mod About You's favorite color. K-Stars from San Francisco. Hello, San Francisco. Thank you for joining me, you guys. Hope you guys like the looks that I've got for you today. So I'm going to brush this on about halfway down the nail. We don't have to worry about that being perfect. Hello, Joanne from England. Mod about you pastel is everything. Yes, I agree. And then we're going to start with our alpine snow. Hi, Rachel from the U.S. Where are you from the U.S., Rachel? And then when I apply my alpine snow to the tip, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bounce it up and just push it up against that pink because it's not cured. That The mod about you is not cured yet. So I just want to push my brush right up there then bring it down in a nice thin even coat and cap the free edge. This is not going to create a perfect line, but that's okay because we're going to be covering that with the dots. So then we're going to cure that in our LED light for 30 seconds. Oklahoma, Atlanta. Hello, Oklahoma and Atlanta. Once that's cured, we're going to go ahead and do that one more time. And see how it's cured and it's not perfect? No problem. Some of my favorite nail art designs are ones that you can do without having to worry about perfection. They can be quick and easy, especially in a salon setting. Ohio. Pink's my favorite color too. 
So again, just the same as we did on that first coat, bumping that Alpine Snow right up to the Mod About You, creating a line. Now again, I said the line doesn't have to be perfect, but I do want it to be fairly straight across and in the middle of the nail. Hello, Tennessee and Mississippi. Hi guys, thanks for joining. So then we're going to cure that for 30 seconds. When that comes out, I'm going to take my Mod About You and my Alpine Snow, which I have prepared on my palette here. And I'm going to be using today a double-sided um, dotting, dotting tool, sorry. So this one has a larger dotting uh, tool on this side and a smaller one on this side. This is one of my favorites to use. And especially for this design in particular, we do need the two sides we're going to be using today. Kathy says, this Jersey girl loves to do nail art. Perfect. Great. Uh, glad you're with us, Kathy. I hope you enjoy. So I'm going to start with my larger dotting, uh, larger ended dotting tool on this one. And I'm going to bring this over here so you guys can see. I'm going to dip it into the Mod About You. I'm going to pick up a pretty sizable amount. Um, and it doesn't really matter where you place this. I'm going to start a little off center here. I'm going to Put it down in a bit of a circle. I want to create a larger dot, even larger than what the dotting tool can do. And then I'm going to pick up a little bit more and I'm just right on the middle of the line, right where the pink and the white meet. And this one I can do a, a little bigger, but not as big as the first. And we could do just a regular sized one there and another one here. We're going to flash cure this for 15 seconds. That's going in our LED light to flash for 15 seconds. And then I'm going to clean out my daughter tool and I'm going to start with my Alpine Snow. Ashley says that OPI Infinite Shine is her favorite brand of nail polish. Yay, perfect. That's a good one. Love Infinite Shine. So I flash cured that for 15 seconds and then I'm again I'm going to go do exactly the same thing. I'm going to use my larger end first. I'm going to pick up my Alpine Snow and this time I'm going to dot between the pinks but I'm going to do the sizes that maybe sort of allow so I don't overlap my pink dots too much. So I've got a smaller space in between here so I'm going to use the smaller side of my dotting tool. I'm going to pick it up and I'm going to add a little dot right there. Don't worry too much that you can see that it's a dot on the line. That's all going to blend in when we put the top coat on. Again, we're going to flash cure for 15 seconds. And it's going to look a little bit like this. And each time you do it, it'll look a little different. And then from here, you're going to, doesn't matter which color first, you're going to pick up using the bigger end. Again, um, with Mod About You. And I'm going to start right about here on the Alpine Snow. And what happens when you use a bigger dotting tool, if you do a lighter pressure, you can get a smaller dot. But also, as you dot, if you don't pick up any more product, you're going to start using that product up. And you're going to start to be able to create smaller dots. So you can go ahead and do that. And then you can also switch to your smaller dotting tool. And I want to put some in some of the little white dots that are over here and maybe pretty close to them. And then I'm gonna make sure I get it nice and filled, but be a little random about it. Fill it up as much as you like. We can flash cure that if we like, but I'm going to go ahead and just go right into my Alpine Snow. And I'm gonna do the same thing up here in the pink. I'm gonna create different size dots, keeping the bigger ones towards the middle of the nail and the smaller dots up close to the top where the cuticle would be. Isn't that cute? Quick and easy. So then you're gonna cure that, uh, fully cure that for 30 seconds. And then when you're done curing that, you're going to apply your Stay Shiny Top Coat. And I'm just going to, I wasn't going to show you guys the top coat, but I think I will. So I'm just going to pull that out right here. I'm just going to show you guys. So you can see that the dots do have a little bit of definition, but once we put that stay shiny top coat on, the colors do blend into their own. 
and it looks just like they melted together. Isn't that cool? A little bit of a little lava lamp French for you. So you'll cure your top coat for 30 seconds. When that comes out of the lamp, you're going to wipe with a little bit of NAS 99 to remove that inhibition layer. Get it all squeaky clean. And that's our first look done. Lava lamp French. <laughs> the second look we've got today is one I'm just calling Crazy Daisy, for lack of a better name of it. Um, but when I did think of it, it was so funny. I did end up getting told that um, Susie actually, and you guys all know Susie, right? Susie um, has actually been quoted as saying, I'm crazy for this shade. And one of the reasons is because another fun fact about the mod culture, it was... Um, it actually kind of referred to, Maude kind of referred to being crazy because um, they used to party really hard <laughs> and they used to drive their Vespas really, really fast. I had no idea that that was something about the mod culture, that they drove scooters and Vespas really fast. So I thought that was really neat. So this guy's a little a uh, little bit simpler, but I just love this mod daisy look. It's um, it's not as simple as your just, you know, your daughter, your dotting tool daisies. Um, it's just a little bit um, more uh, sophisticated. So we're going to start with Don't Tell a Soul. That's from our Mexico City collection, Don't Tell a Soul. And I'm going to start with my larger dotting tool. And you're going to want to place three yellow dots, one in the top right, one in about the middle left, and another one on the bottom right. We're going to flash cure that for 15 seconds. Just make sure those are all locked in and ready to go. I'm just going to double check. There hasn't been any questions that I've missed. OPI is my favorite brand. Cool. Awesome. Thanks, guys. So let me know if you guys like these designs. Are you going to try them? Have you done something like this before? Do you work with gel color? Don't be shy. Okay, so... From here, I'm going to again use the larger side of my dotting tool. I'm going to clean it off first. And I'm going to go back into my Alpine Snow. And from here, I'm going to do the dots, but I'm not going to do them. This is like your traditional dotting tool daisy, as I mentioned before. You go right up. Super cute. Nothing wrong with that. But we're going to make these just a, give them a little more of a 70s vibe and a little 90s vibe too. I really... I remember the daisies being super popular in the 90s as well, and they're kind of coming back. So instead of doing them right beside the yellow, I'm going to bring them off just a little bit. And I'm going to try to place them as evenly as I can around that yellow dot. And generally, the rule of thumb is you're going to do about five. Now we can do these one at a time um, and concentrate on them one at a time, and I think that's what I'll do. And you can flash cure as you go. So I'm going to bring out my uh, detail brush now. And from here, I'm going to drag my detail brush through my Alpine Snow just a little bit. I actually don't really need to pick up any product. All the product that I need is already there on the nail. But I just want to make sure that these bristles have some gel on them. Okay. And then from here, I'm going to start in the very, very middle of my dot and I'm going to drag it down towards the center to the yellow almost touching I'm going to do that for each one and then from here you're just going to round that out in a nice teardrop shape just using your detail brush hopefully you guys can see that let me get up closer just rounding that out into a nicer teardrop shape so kind of coming down from the from the side of the dot on an angle to match that point. And that is going to create those teardrop petals for us. Okay, so I can flash cure that for 15 seconds or I can continue on and keep doing the rest. So I would then place more petals over on these guys. And remember when you get to the side of the nail, you might not even be able to place um, a dot there, but from there what you'll want to do is, is then you're going to pick up a little bit of the product and you're going to, you could start from this side, come out 
and basically just place a triangle there and that's going to give the illusion that the petal has has come off of the nail so you're going to do fully do that i want to make sure i've got four designs and these next two have lots of detail in them so i'm going to zip ahead we're going to pretend we're doing a cooking show here today when you're all done with these daisies you're going to cure them in your led light for 30 seconds and then we're going to apply our stay shiny top coat any questions so far guys well, i've got norwich town is that connecticut yes fabby this pink is gorgeous it is my, one of my favorite pinks from opi for sure um, it's such a girly pink very feminine love it um, it looks great with a, a variety of shades, as you can see with the alpine snow and the yellow that don't tell a soul, and this beautiful sage green I'm going to be using in a little bit. So we're going to cure that for 30 seconds, and again, when that comes out of the lamp, we're going to pretend this one just came out of the lamp. We're going to wipe it down with NAS 99, get that sticky tacky layer off, don't forget your free edge, and voila! crazy daisies <laughs> so just a real quick recap there for you guys on those first two nails i know that went pretty quick but these other ones are going to take a little bit longer they're a little bit more involved but how quick and easy were those so really fun um ways to add a little bit of nail art for your clients you could do one daisy or you could fill the whole nail with them love those from there, we're going to go in with this one, and this one, I, for lack of a better name, I called it Groovy Baby. I couldn't really think of, oh no, sorry, this one is called Hip to be Square, and um, I just, with the squares, I just thought it was, it was funny, it was cute. Um, I had a very sort of Austin Powers um, moment in my mind when I was, when I was doing this one. So for this one, we're going to start with two coats of Mod About You, of course, cured for 30 seconds each. And then what we're going to do is we're going to use our squeaker of the house, just an older color, but still available today. And this isn't Greenland. And those two colors I have already placed on my palette. And I'm going to just really simply create some squares. Now I want to show you guys a couple different ways to do this. So I could use a dotting tool. Um, some people are super comfortable with their dotting tools and that's kind of cool. And if you don't want to have um, super sharp corners, a dotting tool is really fun to actually. And I use um, that technique in this one specifically to get a more rounded uh, square. So we're going to use our dotting tool and we're just going to create our square. And you guys see how that just gives a nice rounded corner to it? So we're going to just do that three times down the middle of the nail, evenly spaced. And to help yourself, I just want to show you guys real quick too. <gasps> Look, if you don't like what you're doing, you can wipe it away with your NAS 99. Your pink is still good to go. And it's very forgiving uh, product and you can play with it and um, get it perfect before you cure. So I just wanted to show you guys the reason why I wiped that off. I wanted to show you real quick. If you want to really space them out super evenly, a good trick would be to place just dots first and just make sure that you've spaced them out nice and evenly and then go from there where you can fill them in as full squares and then you'll just get a little bit more uh, consistency and sim symmetry out of them. Another way, of course, to do a square is to use your detail brush, of course. And just bring it around and create the square and then I also wanted to show this technique which you could do you can start at the corner here and bring it down like this and if you kind of imagine where you want each corner of your square bringing it through like that and then kind of doing it like this and filling it in. So there's no uh, wrong ways to do it, whichever way you find makes it easiest for you to create your little squares. You're gonna create all three squares. And of course you can use, whoop, dropping brushes here. You can use a cleanup brush with a little bit of that NAS 99 on it and you can help perfect 
your squares, <laughs> which I'm not doing a very good job of right here because I'm starting to rush through. I'm going to slow down. But just go ahead and take your time perfecting those squares so that they're all nice and even and symmetrical. You're going to cure that. You can flash cure that if you like, but we'll cure it for 30 seconds. And then we're going to go in and do the same thing with our, this isn't Greenland, but this time we're going to do it between, off to the, to the side and between those brown squares. So if I do it this way, which is probably one of my favorite ways to do it, to me it's just simple and easy. I'm going to take, make sure your dotting tool is clean, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so square, green square here. And again, I didn't make sure that that was clean, so you know what? We're going to take it off. No problem whatsoever. We're going to make sure our dotting tool is really, really clean. We're going to go back in with our green and try again. No worries. Like I said, that, that's one of the, the best reasons for me for using gel color over lacquers and infinite shine. I do love them, but man, if you're in a hurry and you got your client there and you, you know, you're trying to do something really intricate and maybe it's an off day. I love how forgiving this product is. Okay. So now that we've got our green squares, we're going to cure for 30 seconds. From here, I'm going to show you guys how to do the white lines that I did here. And can you see how they kind of seem to come from, from the middle of each one of these little dots? I'm going to show you how I did that. So first things first, another trick for getting super nice fine lines when you're working with fine lines is to wipe your, your base nail with NAS 99 before drawing your lines. What that's going to do is it removes that inhibition layer and the, the two gels won't mix together and they won't melt together and you'll get nice crisp lines. I'm going to make sure that my detail brush is nice and clean and again I'm just using this is a wipe that I was using earlier it just has a tiny bit of NAS 99 in it just to clean out my brush. I'm going to use um, firstly the small part of my dotting tool. I'm going to pick up a little bit of Alpine Snow and if you guys want like a really small dot, okay, so let me show you. If you place it, uh, the, your dotting tool in your, um, and this is white on white, so this might sh not show. Let me do it with the pink. When you place your dotting tool in your color and then you dot, you get, you know, roughly that size of a dot. And remember how I said if you just keep going, it gets smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. I didn't change the pressure that I used there. It's just the amount of product that was left on the dotting tool got less and less. So when you're trying to get certain size dots, that you might not have the right size dot or just go ahead and dot on your palette a couple times until you get to the size that you were looking for. So I'm just going to wipe that off real quick. I'm going to do that with my Alpine Snow. Just dot it maybe once, twice, and then I'm going to dot right in the middle of my brown. I'm going to do that again, right in the middle of the brown. And then I'm going to do it for the green. And before I cure those, I'm going to pick up my detail brush off of the floor <laughs> and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to switch out to actually, I think, um, my striping brush. There's a couple of different ways to do this. Again, I want to make sure that my striping brush has a tiny bit of gel color in it. So I'm going to just roll it and drag it through my Alpine Snow just so that um, I don't know how to explain it, but it's just going to play with the with the gel I've already placed down there. It's going to play with it a little bit easier. It won't be a, a hard, stiff brush. It's going to be nice, soft. And what we're going to do from here, we're going to pull from the middle of this, this dot down through the middle of this one and through the middle of this one. But as you can see, it pulls this way. So now what we want to do, pulls your dot, your starburst dot. We're going to pull from the bottom up. Okay. 
And then we're going to do the same thing out to each side for each one of these dots. So we're going to pull out from this one. We're going to pull in from this one to connect it with this one. And then we can pull back a little on this one to, to connect it back again. So we're going to keep doing that all the way through. And then when we're done with that, we can cure for 30 seconds. Again, we're going to apply our Stay Shiny Top Coat, cure for 30 seconds, and then wipe with NAS 99. And that is hip to be square. <laughs> How did you guys like that one? Kind of fun, right? Was there any new techniques there? I, I feel like with the dotting tool, making squares is like kind of new. Um, uh, maybe other people have done it before. I haven't seen it before, but I think it's kind of a neat way to get a nice kind of a rounded square look, which I'm going to use again today in this one. So for this one, which I named Groovy Baby, again, I couldn't think of a better name. If you guys have one, you let me know. <laughs> We're going to start with two coats of Alpine Snow. And the first, it doesn't really matter. I just want to say to you guys, it really doesn't matter which colors I use first on this, which, um, uh, you know, which, which shapes I do and where I put them. The fact, um, the, the, the really fun thing about this is that you can have fun. You can make this any way that you want and you don't have to think too hard about it. Um, it's not supposed to be hard and time consuming. It's supposed to be fun and easy. So let's start off with a little bit of This Isn't Greenland. And I'm going to use the large side of my dotting tool. And I'm going to put a large circle on the left hand corner. We're going to make one of those rounded squares over here on this side. I'm going to do, let's do another square down here in the green. And you guys can always do two coats of these if you like, but um, I suggest, um, that's another reason too for using the dotting tool. It does pick up and uh, place down quite a bit of product, so you actually don't need the two coats. And because we're going to be layering these colors, you're going to notice that they'll get just a little bit bumpy if you're not too careful. So try not to add too many, too many layers and keep it nice and thin. So I could go ahead and flash cue that if I like, but I'm just going to go ahead and dip back into my Mod About You, which is on this side. And I'm going to do a square over here. And then I'm going to do a, a little, a little pink circle right here. And remember, just moving your dotting tool in a circle will give you a bigger circle. And then we're going to cure that. Um, you can flash cure that for 15 seconds and we're going to move on to the next step. Now from here is where we're going to start building up those, um, building up these, their off-centered uh, little pieces here. So I'm going to, on the green, I'm going to pick up some Alpine Snow. Hi Marnie, thanks for joining me today. And I'm going to make sure that I place this dot off-center on the green. You don't have to, you could place it right in the middle, but I think it gives it more of like that groovy 70s vibe if you place it a little off center. I'm going to do a little white square on the pink over here. And if I want, I can switch since I'm starting to work a little bit smaller, I can switch to my smaller side of my dotting tool. And then I'm going to do another off center circle. Here, I should have done that one in with the big one. Let's just, there we go. So we're going to cure that. Again, you could flash cure for 15 or fully cure for 30. If you're working on the other hand at the same time, no problem. Um, and then actually what we'll do, getting ahead of myself, getting one step ahead of myself, we're going to do a little bit of the squeaker of the house here in the green. And... Make sure your dotting tool is clean before you go in. And then we're going to take a little bit of Mod About You for this green. We're going to fill in a little square 
on that one as well. So again, flash cure for 15 or fully cure for 30 is up to you. From here, we're going to keep adding. We're going to do one more dot. We're going to go with the pink this time. Again, off-centered up here in the top. Let's do a brown one over here. The pink with the white and the brown. I think that's really cute. And then let's do a white one. A little white square over here. A little green dot with the pink. And let's do another little white square on this side. Kind of cute, eh? So from here, and don't worry about that empty space. We're going to fill that all in. From here, that's you can flash cure or fully cure for 30 seconds. And then this is where we're going to start filling it in, in with some of the other shapes. And this is where I'm going to break out my detail brush. So again, don't think too hard about this. Just pick a color and start, start going. One thing that I would say is what I usually do when I start deciding where I'm going to put things is I look at this one. This one has the green, the white, and the pink. So I'm going to go in with my brown, the squeaker of the house, and I'm going to do something maybe right beside that. So a nice rectangle and you can round those corners if you like just like that let's do it a little bit better fill it in there you can do rectangles and you can do squares and you could do circles so we're gonna do maybe the with mod about you We'll bring this line down and we'll create a nice big square to fill in this spot here. And we could do another little rectangle on this side. Again, just the dot, the, the detail brush, bringing it in. Um, and so I, I tend, uh, because I used a lot of squares and circles in the other designs, I decided to do quite a few like rectangles on this side. Totally up to you. And we'll do another, let's do, can do like a little circle here as well. Hope you guys can see that. We're going to flash cure that for 15 seconds. And I'm just going to do about five. You can flash cure anywhere between five and 15. Totally up to you. Um, when you're working with really little pieces like this, as long as you get it locked in for a good five to 10 seconds, you're good to go with your next sets. So then from here, you're just going to keep building on that. So with this guy, I'd like to maybe take this brown and I'm going to overlap it over the pink like that. Um, maybe with the green. Clean up my brush here real quick. With the green, I can fill in this empty space here with another green rectangle kind of fun and again just keep adding until you're happy you don't I mean it's a busy design so you know you don't have to worry about you know, being too busy but don't forget to leave some empty spaces as well so once you've done and you're totally happy with all of your your shapes there. This one is one I did a little earlier. As you can see, I added some green in there as well with the pink and we did a green circle right in the middle. I'm going to apply one coat of Stay Shiny Top Coat and we're going to cure for 30 seconds. What did you guys think of that? Fun? Groovy? I think it's kind of cute. I think it goes along with the that sort of 70s uh, revival that's kind of seems to be happening right now with nail art. I think it's really cute. And we're going to cure that for 30 seconds. And then, of course, when that comes out, you're going to wipe the inhibition layer with NAS 99. Get that sticky tacky layer off of there. And you're done. So you can reverse these colors. You could do pink as your base and you could play around with the other colors, of course. Anything you like, have fun, play with that. So just doing a quick little recap, we showed some dotting techniques 
with the French lava lamp. Some more dotting as well as some uh, dragging and shaping techniques with our Crazy Daisy. Using our dotting tool to create um, rounded squares and our detail brush to create the starburst lines and our striping brush as well. And then this one, again, the dotting tool for those round circles, the rounded squares, and a detail brush um, for all of the extras. So I hope you guys enjoyed those. Um, thank you so much for joining me today. Don't forget to tune in on March 18th at 4 p.m., same bat time, same bat channel. Um, we will be doing My Dog Sled is a Hybrid. So thanks again so much for joining me. Thank you, OPI, for having me. Again, don't forget to go check out OPI's YouTube page for more content as well as our Instagram page. And you can find me on Instagram at Chelsea's underscore nails as well. Thanks again for joining me. Have a great day. Bye, guys.